We know that this is the way. We glorify you, Lord, because this child will be in your kingdom. Blessed you are, Lord, that he is here this time. We ask that you are present and bless him to be with him for all his necessities and that you can instruct the parents so that he may walk in your presence. Bless that be, Lord, so that he is always with you, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The brother. Now that we are standing, we can open the word of the Lord. And first Samuel. We will also talk about David, David at this time. First Samuel, twenty-one. Where we will read a few verses. Verse 4, verse 6, and verse 8. And also verse 9. We'll read parts of every single one. So Samuel 21, verse 3. Now, therefore, what have you on hand? Give me five loaves of bread in my hand, or whatever can be found. Four. And the priest answered David and said, There is no common bread on hand, but there is holy bread. Verse 5. Then David answered the priest and said to him, Truly, women have kept us about three days since it came out. Six, so the priest gave him the holy bread. Verse 8 And said David to Amalek, Is there not here on hand a spear or sword? For I have brought neither my sword nor my weapons with me. Verse 9 So the priest said, The sword of Goliath, the Philistine, whom you killed in the Valley of Elah. There it is, wrapped in a cloth behind a foot. If you will take, take that, take it. For there is no one other except that one here. And David said, There is none like it. Give it to me. Lord, we praise you at this time. We are thankful for this time. We ask that through your word you can bless your people. Your church is here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The brother may be seated. So, David was that servant that always wanted to be in the presence of the Lord. He would always do what the Lord had for his life. A man who just from his youth had many extraordinary experiences with God. The Bible talks about the Bible talks about how he had killed a bear and a lion.
Deus de Israel, que não havia homem ali para poder tirar aquela fronte de Deus do povo. Não havia homem ali. Já tinha um espaço de 40 dias que aquele homem, com toda a sua arrogância, With all his confidence, he would go after every army. And the stories that are known by all, David was that man that was there, and he would win many battles. David was one of those prophets and poets that writes. Psalms 23 and says, The Lord is my shepherd. Nothing, nothing will I fear. He guides me to still waters and refreshes my soul. Even if I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear because you, Lord, you are with me. You console me. David talks about a table. He talks about everything he has received from God. It's there. But now here, David is with, he is being followed, he has many problems, adversities of all nature. He talks a lot about he went to the house of the Lord. He know he knew that he had to be in the house of the Lord. When he went to the house of the Lord, and so that when he had an encounter, he made a weird. He asked him something that was very weird. And he went to the priest and asked for bread. There is a verse that says in the Bible that I've never seen a just not be answered. And if there is no bread there, he said, if there's any bread or anything else, sometimes when someone really needs something, she she wants literally anything whatever comes I want it I'm here in a big affliction so he got there David asked for normal bread The Bible also says that he got there and he was unarmed. What is this? 
David was never unarmed. At least a little something he had. He got there and he had nothing. And so his he literally had nothing with him. So he got there. And he had nothing on him. He was unarmed and he wanted to eat anything. Sometimes the servant of the Lord, David was the servant of the Lord. He is going through a moment that is much like this. He has so many problems, and so they decide to go to church, but I'm not going to go there and look for anybody. I just want to look for the Lord. And Jesus, the priest, the priest represents sin. The people and God and God to the people. And so he went there and he wanted from the priest five loaves of bread. And sometimes brethren come to the house of the Lord maybe you that you are here today you're in such a difficult moment that you have nothing else to do nothing else to be able to battle with you don't know anything that you can save yourself the enemy is in front of you and you have nothing else sometimes the servant of the Lord has no more prayer no more early dawn doesn't want to read the Bible nothing there's no bread doesn't have the spiritual gifts but when we don't have any more bread when we don't have any more spiritual gifts we still have one thing we have someone we have the priest of Jesus and when he went there to the house of the Lord, the priest said, There is no, here in this place, there is no bread on hand. Because the common bread you eat and you get hungry again Jesus and then you die Moisés não deu para vocês o pão do céu não Moses didn't give you guys the holy bread those who have the holy bread to give is me, Jesus I am the bread of life I am the sacred bread the holy bread God put you in the position to be here tonight. Just like David, who is loved by the Lord, because he has a word that is revealed for you tonight. It is not the letter. It's not the words in the Bible. They're common. They're everywhere. But he has a revealed word. 
God has something for you from eternity. He said, David, you're going to eat now. It's not with common bread. You're going to eat tonight the holy bread. Praise be the name of the Lord. And that is what Jesus did. He reported his, his body. He gave his life. He gave what is most sacred. What is the most holy. Which is himself, Jesus. He is the only one that can take away all that is bad with us. He is the only one that can change our lives. He is the only one that can be priests and refuge. Salvation, curing the soul, restoring faith. And so the holy bread was served for David. Brethren, Jesus is the holy bread. Eat of this bread. Receive it tonight. Jesus talks about this. He gets the bread and he says, This here is my this is my body. Which I divide unto you. He offers his body his, to his church. To his loved one. This is what he wants to give you. He wants to give you a place in heaven. A place in his body. A place in the faithful church. A place in the mansions in heaven. In his home. But David needed bread. And he needed a sword. Because he had nothing. He needed the word, the revealed word for his life. And he needed to leave that place with a sword. Because battles he would have to go through. Brethren, you're there here that you're being fed by the holy bread. And he's going to give you the sword the sword that you need to help you and give you victories. When he asks for a weapon, for a sword, the word said that the priest said, the sword of Goliath is here. It's put away. It's wrapped in a cloth. It was here. The sword was there to give to David. It was the sword of Goliath. It's something extraordinary. What does this mean? Him receiving the sword of Goliath. When David looked at that sword, he remembered what the Lord had done in his life. The great things the Lord has done for us. That sword was fruit of an experience that David had reached through the Lord. That sword represented victory through faith. Victory through the means of grace. And you, brethren, that are here tonight, the Lord gives you this sword. Remember, brethren, the victories that you have reached when you went to the Lord. That is what David wanted to show. That is what the Lord wanted to show David at that moment. That when you go to the Lord, you will be victorious. Praise be the name of the Lord. The theme? What's the theme of this year? And so, 
e nós venceremos quando nós usamos as armas espirituais. Clamarmos para o Santo Jesus Cristo, porque o Santo Jesus Cristo nos purifica de todo o pecado e nos leva para a de Deus e nos dá a vitória que nós necessitamos para a nossa vida. Por isso, a palavra cantando o povo. Goliath was there. And the Lord said, when, when he was against a Goliath, Goliath said, I come with you the sword. And David said, I come to you to the name of the Lord. All you need to do now is be, be ready and use what the Lord has for you and you will be victorious. David ate the holy bread and he left there with the, the sword, the sword of the victor, the sword of the experience. The sword that he got when a soldier of God does not walk without being armed. You need to have prayed. You need to have the headgear of salvation. David, this is what the Lord has for your life. You will have problems, but you will have victories, which we reach when we go to the Lord. The Lord showed a woman that she is here with us tonight. And she is a servant of the Lord. She has walked in the way. She walks in the way that the Lord has revealed. But she is seeing that the time is closing, that things are getting very difficult. And she's been thinking, and she's been and, she's, and she wants to find a way around it so that she doesn't have to face adversity. But the Lord showed that He showed and wanted to say to the Lord that she must continue in the way. You need to stay in the way. Don't go to the right nor to the left. It is that voice. He is telling you this is the way. This is the way. That is what the Lord said to David. This is the way. You have anguish and you have difficulties, but you will reach what you need. And so the sister, she will obey. And when, and when the afflictions came, something extraordinary happened. Her afflictions would leave her, her clothes lighter, and she could walk even easier in the presence of the Lord. You want victory, brother? There has to be battles. How are you going to have a victory without a battle? There has to be something so that you can be victorious. You want a great victory? You're going to have to go through a big, a big fight. But the Lord, He will be present to provide you so you can leave victorious. And it talks about the light close, which is salvation. Because the heavy things the Lord has already provided on the cross. The Lord showed that there was a man, and it showed that his life is, is becoming nothing. 
It's like the person was a vase, and the vase was cracked. If you get a cracked vase, if you put water inside, the water will fall out. If you put something heavy inside, it'll, it'll finish cracking and it'll probably break. And so, everything that co goes in, comes out. The Bible talks about, about the ripped the rip bag. It goes in through the top and comes out through the bottom. Uh, nothing gets better. And in other things. And the Lord showed that He wanted He wanted to do something. Maybe put some tape on it or glue to try to fix it. The spiritual life it can't be it can't be done with this. I always show the the songbook, right? What I was, it is being fixed, and this, and the one who fixes this, is the Lord. Put your life. So put your life on the Lord, and He will rectify everything. He will give you everything you need: the peace, the faith, the salvation. So he will fix our lives. And the Lord showed. The Lord showed that he was fixing everything to make it look really good. He who is in Christ, a new creature is. So what does this mean?
We are thankful for your grace. We are thankful for everything. For your wondrous love that puts you in our presence. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for thankful for everything that you give us that we need for our life we are thankful for you O lord because of your love and we ask you lord that you may take us in peace home and that all the things we need for grace can be with us every single day so that every day we may believe in you more that we may use the means of grace so that we have victories Take us in peace to our homes. We pray in your holy name and in your name. We say that all the eternal blessings be with all of us now and forever. Amen. The brother may be seated. Tomorrow, we will not have service here in Pompano, the biblical school. The brethren already know that tomorrow we will be participating in a special service in the Church of Hollandale. That will begin at 10 a.m. And the whole Church of Pompano is invited to have breakfast there in the Church of Hollandale. We have our fasting until 9 a.m. And then so we will pray for it at that time. And then we will eat breakfast there. And then at 10 a.m. we will have the special service there at the Church of Hollandale. So those who want to participate, it will be a great blessing, and we would like to receive everybody. And then tomorrow night, we'll be here again at 7.30 for our service of glorification for the name of the Lord. So if you are here and you are a visitor, and you want to ask any questions, we are here to assist you at this time. After, I'll have a little meeting, meeting with Group B. So if you need assistance, you can raise your hand.